This video will show you how to use long multiplication when using two digit numbers. On the screen you can see an example of a multiplication using a two digit number. 387 multiplied by 16. I can already see that this multiplication will take me into the thousands, so when I'm labelling my columns I'm going to label a thousands column. TH for thousands, H for hundreds, T for tens and U for units. I can now write out my multiplication making sure to put the numbers in the correct columns. So 387 multiplied by 16. Before beginning the multiplication I must use a ruler to draw a horizontal line. I'm now ready to begin my long multiplication. When using long multiplication, the first multiplication is always by the smallest number in the number you are multiplying by, in this case, the 6 of 16. This means my first multiplication will be 7 multiplied by 6. This gives me an answer of 42. I can write the 2 of 42 easily in the units column. The 4 to represent 40 must be written halfway between the tens and the units column. This will remind me to use it in the next part of my long multiplication. My next multiplication is 80 multiplied by 6. If I know that 8 multiplied by 6 is 48, then 80 multiplied by 6 must be 480. I must also add the 40 from 42 onto 480, which gives me an answer of 520. I can represent the 20 of 520 easily in the tens column by putting a 2, but to show the 500 part, I must again write a small 5 halfway between the hundreds and the tens column to remind me to use it during the next step. Now I've got to look at the hundreds multiplication, 300 multiplied by 6. If I know that 3 multiplied by 6 equals 18, then 300 multiplied by 6 must equal 1,800. Because I've got this 5 here that represents 500, I must also add 500 on to 1,800, which gives me an answer of 2,300. To show 2,300 in my long multiplication, I can simply write a 3 in the hundreds column to represent that there are three hundreds, and a 2 in the thousands column to represent that there are two thousands. For the next step of my long multiplication, I must multiply by the next part of the number that I'm multiplying by. This means the 1 in 16, which represents 10. So the next step is 387 multiplied by 10. Using my place value knowledge, I can straight away work out that 387 multiplied by 10 is 3870 without needing to do any separate working out. So I'm going to straight away add 3870 into the next part of my long multiplication. Because long multiplication means partitioning numbers, I've now got to recombine my two numbers. This means adding the answer to 387 multiplied by 6 onto the answer to 387 multiplied by 10. Because I'm going to do some more working out, I'm going to use a ruler and draw another horizontal line, leaving a gap for the next part of my working out. I must first look at the units column, 2 add 0. This gives me an answer of 2. Next, I must add the numbers in the tens column, 2 to represent 20, and 7 to represent 70. 2 add 7 is 9, so I'm going to put a 9 here to show that there is 90, or 9 tens. In the hundreds column, I've got 3 to represent 300, and 8 to represent 800. 3 add 8 equals 11, so 300 add 800 must equal 1100. To show this as part of this step of my long multiplication, I must write the 1 for the 100 in 1100 here, and the 1 to represent the 1000 in 1100 here. Finally, I must add up the numbers in my thousands column. 2 to represent 2000, 
3 to represent 3,000 and 1 to represent 1,000. 2 add 3 add 1 equals 6, so there must be 6,000 in my answer. At the bottom of my long multiplication is the answer to the original question of 6,192.